Welcome to Glass House Show. This is a show from AY Comedy. <clears throat> Men are listening to Una May, Queen May, as she explain things about her life. Me, you know, know how many brand she did on those. Please watch this video to the end and don't forget to share. Held to conform to any societal, you know, pressure. Pressure, yes. Mm -hmm. I really don't have to maintain any kind of flawless lifestyle mm, that's deep <laughs> so you're not in the school of thought of uh, fake it until you make it no 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 no, no, no. you're already uh, made uh, so there's nothing to fake <laughs> there's nothing to fake absolutely <laughs> welcome to yet another very interesting episode of glass house today we have a very interesting personality joining us as a matter of fact she's a multi faceted personality whose journey as a brand ambassador entrepreneur and of course one of the very best in the influencer business ladies and gentlemen boys and girls let's welcome queen may <laughs> yeah so welcome to glass house thank you it's really good to have you here in glass house i personally would like to say that uh, your journey has been a very, very inspiring one. Career-wise, you're doing good. Can you share a moment with us? I mean, where you felt uh, overwhelmed or uncertain? Uncertain? No. Because the word impossible does not exist in my dictionary. Well, yeah. <laughs> that always I like has that. to be. I like that. <laughs> there always has to be a way out, only if you think. Overwhelming? Yes. As a matter of fact, I'm overwhelmed right now. You know, as you know, I am the brand ambassador for multiple brands. And I also have to do a couple of one-off ads for several other brands. I meet running my own business and um, promoting it. So it could be a little. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, what but I, I can handle more because... <laughs> <laughs> Indirectly, Queen May <laughs> is asking you guys out there, please, if you have brands that you want her to, you know, to represent, she's still ready. She can handle more. I can handle more too. I'm into entertainment, so I can handle more. Uh, you okay. know, you know, I can handle more really because I try to be um, organized and efficient. Apart from the fact that you're on this show, I personally see you as a woman of substance and integrity. Yes, okay. and um, it comes with a lot. So now this is me asking you, how do you manage the pressure to maintain a public persona and at the same time, you know, dealing with personal challenges? Having a positive mindset is key for me. I embrace authenticity. So mm. no fake life. Mm. So I am not compelled to conform to any societal, you know, pressure. Pressure, yes. Mm -hmm. I really don't have to maintain any kind of flawless lifestyle. Mm. That's <laughs> deep. So you're not in the school of thought of uh, fake it until you make it. No, 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 no. You're already uh, made. So there's nothing to fake. <laughs> there's nothing to fake. Absolutely. <laughs> so then again, I try to maintain consistency, mm. and um, I know where to draw the line between personal and um, my personal life and work and I do not take my personal issues to social media because I have to keep my mental health in check and lastly I have <laughs> I have this big support system you know my family and friends they're always there for me when I need them and then my online family my online family members uh, <laughs> Mm, no, no, you they don't. Are, you don't. You don't need to tell me about your <laughs> online family members. I mean, they are. They are solid. They are they solidly. They are readily available. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> when I, I need you. them, yes, you know. I want to be like you when I grow up. Oh, really? You've grown <laughs> already. <laughs> so they're always there. Mm -hmm. You know, they're like a pillar. They are reliable. They are dependable. Mm -hmm. They are ready to give it to you to anyone who who chooses to display in other words you have the bass boost no no not, not bass boost you know okay what well, explain if, if, you, if you choose to exhibit your integrity when it gets overboard mm. they'll come for you they'll give it to you hurt, hurt. <laughs> not in the glass house but where the glass house is oh it started from a wise place is that what you're saying of course missianos can care <laughs> that's the first one yes and that was um ayomide's child 
dedication. Dedication, I remember. Yes, mm -hmm. I was here as a guest and end with just a post on my platforms. I'm overjoyed. I'm satisfied when there is conversion. When you go, you go in and you go in real deep yeah, to make sure that the brand is uh, well represented out there. Of course, as a matter of fact, I give them my expertise and wealth of knowledge in in business. What did you study? Uh, <laughs> computer science and engineering. Computer science and engineering. Yes, but I, mean, I have... This, it's, it's quite a distance from what you're doing right now. I know. If you want to go technical and all of that. The technicalities of marketing, you also understand. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I have been involved in business in marketing for a very long time. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so right from my secondary school days, I've been involved in one business or another. So I bring my expertise, you know, my worth of knowledge into their businesses. I help them in their day-to-day -day running of the business. Okay, so there's Missiano Skincare. Missiano Skincare. <laughs> All right. There's Hourglass Fashion World, Omar's World of Glamour. There's Annie's Enhanced Beauty Products. There's Laurel Dera Perfumes. There's Fire Jean, Xander's Kitty Things, um, Bucci Makes, and yeah. Well, wow, that's quite a number. I can see you struggling. <laughs> and more, yes. I You're can't just struggling like you them. can't even remember. Uh, let me apologize in advance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't want to be crucified. When you're big, you're big, I beg. <laughs> okay. Now, with your recent involvement in movies, can we not call you an actor? Um, I got this call some time ago from Amani Oboli's production for Wives on Strike the uprising yes so i was to promote the movie so we got on the sets to shoot the promotional ad 